Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? I make a bunch of like recreation, knitting, tutorials, all that stuff. I guess vlog type videos as well. I don't even know what I'm saying. We are back with another recreation video. I know, literally just posted one on Friday, but I couldn't hold back. We just had to keep it going. I think I got a DM in my Instagram asking me to do this one and it was already in the vault. Like I already had plans to do it. So there was no worries. I wanted to recreate. It's like super popular. It's like been duped a billion times over and over again, but I thought it'd be really cool if I could try to knit it. So it's the For Love and Lemons Al Alanis, Alanis Cropped Cardi. It's like orange and pink. And like, those are the two colors I'm like loving right now. I think it's like really in for spring. Oh God, it's summer. Never mind. Yeah, I really wanted to try it out. I did this recreation in collaboration with Bellish. So Bellish wanted me to use their app and try to see if I could recreate something. Using their app is kind of like a template and then building off from it. The top is really adorable. I'll show you kind of what I use. Okay, I got this yarn from AliExpress. I don't really know if I truly trust AliExpress, but this is like mink. Mink cashmere, I don't... Do we know if this is good or not? I don't know. It had the two colors I really wanted, so I got this and an orange. It was really interesting to make. I guess I'll just show you the final. I was planning on kind of going through the app and showing you guys what I used and then things that I tweaked. So this is probably gonna be more of a talking video and then maybe like a try on later. So this is like the final product. Oh wait, let me button, button her up, dude. I honestly think I did a really good job just like with the outline. Bellish has an app that's available on iOS, but I, I think they're planning on doing Android soon, but you can easily access all of their things on their website. Link everything down below. With Bellish, you can kind of choose exactly kind of what template you want to work with. I chose the drop shoulder cardigan, if you can see. I might actually make my own pattern for this because I did make quite a few iterations and like changes from the template, but you can always also try this yourself. It's really fun improvising and trying to kind of come up with your own patterns yourself. You can kind of like choose whether you want it like cropped or you can change the neckline or the sleeves. So I chose cropped regular, I chose a v-neck, and then the sleeves I chose short. So I, I chose sport weight yarn because I wanted to use a specific needle size and I thought that this one worked really well with the yarn that I had. I then wanted it really cropped so I chose the 3XL size just based off of like the measurements on the circumference of my chesticle area and then I chose pink and then read off of their uh, instructions. From their instructions, how they do it, very similar to my marshmallow cardigan top, but you start from the bottom and you work your way up. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the whole thing. So what you do is you start from the bottom here, you knit all the way up until you get to the armhole and then you split into three different sections, which is the front, the back and then the other front that you all knit like three panels up and then you connect them at the shoulders which I did using the mattress stitch as always I love the mattress stitch <laughs> and then after that I kind of just picked up stitches from the sleeves knitted it in the round same with the other side and then you just pick up stitches along the collar to form that kind of border I will be talking about the changes that I made. With the Bellish app, it tells you to start decreasing around the armhole to kind of make a more V shape to your collar. I started decreasing before that, just based off of like pictures that I'd seen, they started kind of lower, like right here, the decreases started versus like where Bellish wanted to do it. I decreased closer to the beginning and then worked my way up. I also made some decreases around the armhole section here and then I actually casted off some stitches around the base. For the arms, I also did some decreases, as you can see at the bottom, to make the arm more slanted instead of kind of straight. And I also just did buttonholes. All you have to do is knit two together and then yarn over. So I just did three kind of where I thought the cardigan went. 
Yeah, sorry for the abrupt change in pace. I totally forgot to film a section where I like segue into being like, watch my process. Um, so here's me telling you very oddly. Sorry about that. It's okay. Anyway, so this is me knitting it up. I'm knitting the bottom section, which incorporates like both the front and the back. As you can see, the yarn is so tiny even with two threads it's probably one of the smaller things that i've ever knitted it feels almost like lace um, but yeah you can see me kind of try to figure out how i wanted the shape to be so this is one section of the kind of front panel and I wanted a armhole to look more circular than just kind of dividing it into two. The yarn that I chose is that weird mink cashmere or whatever. I chose it because I think after you wash it, it will block really nicely, like in kind of bloom. I think that's the word, the term that everyone uses uh, and it'll get really fluffy like how the For Love and Lemons is. I think for the original one, if like I looked really closely and it looks like they did some sort of fisherman stitch, but fisherman stitch with this thread, I think would have killed me because with fisherman, it's like you're increasing one like row. Like, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. You're it's It's just like double the slowness. Oh my god, my English is horrific, but it it just take it would have taken me 500 years, and I would have rather not have done that. So I just did everything in stockinette, and I think if I wash it, I don't think you can tell at all. Okay, so this is me. I think this is me doing the mattress stitch section on the top of the arms. I was really iffy about how this was going to turn out, not going to lie, just because I did add quite a few extra decreases from the Bellish app like pattern that I made but I try it on I think eventually and it was totally fine oh I also found if you do get this yarn it sheds like crazy I was finding just like sporadic hairs like all over my pants like every kind of clothing I was wearing it like on the floor on my chair just everywhere I can't imagine that being very good for my lungs or my breathing i also had such difficulty with this because i initially winded up the yarn like because it comes with a thread and then it comes with the yarn so the thread is added to increase kind of strength so it doesn't like fall apart because the yarn does rip apart when you pull it too harsh so i try to wind them both together on my winder and i i don't know what i did to it but like the thread was shorter than the actual yarn. So pulling it out of my cake was the worst thing I ever had to do. I had to like try to match it so they would be the same length, but it kept like bunching up. So this is me struggling <laughs> constantly. There's just yarn everywhere. I initially also wanted to do, you see me doing the border, I'm like knitting it. Um, just like normally, but I wanted it to be more vertical kind of like the same thing that I did for the Hope Macaulay inspired um, vest I wanted to do the border so that it was with like it was vertical with the actual stockinette um, But I don't really know how to do buttonholes for that and I was I wanted to stick more to the bellish app uh, as well I didn't do two by two ribbing. I just in in uh, I'm so in love with one by one. It's just really easy and I can do bind off really easy. Um, however, for the border, I did just do a basic bind off because there was just way too many stitches and I just wanted it to be done um, versus the armholes where I did the Italian bind off. Okay, so I think here I'm finished. Oh my God, I didn't even know. I finished both sleeves, try it on first time. I think the sleeves, probably were a little big as you can see kind of uh ruffles there i might have picked up too many stitches along but i was too scared uh, of picking not enough stitches and it looking sparse compared to the rest of the body so i did i think i did every two stitches for every three stitches and yeah that's about it i'm gonna try it on and show you guys <laughs> So <laughs> this is me trying it on. The one that's from For Love and Lemons, it's I think $130. I 
think I spent, I only, I literally only used maybe two of the pink ones and then one of the orange and I didn't even finish all of it. And I think that probably cost me like $12. <laughs> I think it turned out really cute. It's a little short, I will say, compared to the one that is in For Love and Lemons. It was longer before I did this border, so I think I need to make the cast off looser so then it kind of expands more <laughs> because it is kind of like right, it's like really, it really should be more like, like that. But that's on me. This is probably the most try hard try on I did look at me just pose like I know what I'm doing but I have to literally move the top so many times just so it looks correct it was just it was really short guys it was just too short but I think the colors looked beautiful it just turned out really nice in my opinion yeah I think it turned out really nice thank you Bellish for letting me try and like challenge myself see if I can make something um, based off of your pattern and it was really nice because I didn't have to go from scratch I kind of had a basis of what I needed so I didn't really have to like figure it out all by myself Which takes such a long time as long as you get the gauge, right? It all should work out. Let me know if you guys want a pattern I'll probably hopefully update it pretty soon. Yeah, so that's it for today's video Thank you for watching if you're here at the end Don't forget to like comment and subscribe so I know if you guys like it and so you guys can be notified to see when I post next. You can always find me on Instagram, the Discord server, or I also stream on Twitch. So if you want to knit stuff with me and join, I guess our knitting club, uh, definitely join those because we do a bunch of cows and it's really fun seeing your guys' stuff that you make. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.